This is Dogwood Park in Cookville, Tennessee on May 23rd, one day after the governor's emergency order expired. See, these 10 people are social distancing well, but none of them is wearing a mask. Some people think it's a bad idea though, like this lady. 45 minutes of having it on. It's the first time I've worn one. I am disoriented. I'm a little mad, if you can't tell that already. Like I'm very, I'm, I'm frustrated, but I don't feel good physically. Like I can tell you right now, I wasn't getting enough oxygen and I just had on one of these little stupid things. I feel dizzy. My hands are kind of tingly. Um, my heart is beating fast. So some of it's an emotional reaction, but some of it's a physical reaction. Tell me why we're putting these things on and not being able to breathe. I just want to cry. Like that's all I want to do is cry because you can't see people's faces. You can't make human connection. We can't hug people. We can't hold their babies but I feel physically like it affected me. So anyway, there you go. But what if this clearly unhinged Karen was onto something? Is it possible that your blood oxygen levels could be affected by wearing a mask? Can we test? So what we're doing today is trying to see whether or not my blood oxygen level actually gets dropped at all by wearing an M95 mask or any sort of face mask. Here at a park, we have this thing. This shows blood oxygen levels. Um, I forget what it's called already because I don't remember things so good. It goes on your finger. And we're going to see what my blood oxygen level actually is. Okay. So this thing says 97%. You can probably... Can you actually see that? No. You can't see it? Wait, now we can. Yep. Ah, uh, it's visible. But it turned out that it wasn't. However... With just a little bit of trickery, we can highlight it on the screen and see it was a 97. Now we can see it. Okay, so that's a baseline level with no... I'm not doing anything because I'm lazy. Actual M95 on now, but I've also got my Tennessee novelty mask. I'm going to put that over it. <laughs> so we're going to double up. As if wearing two masks helps more. I want to maximize the chance that this makes my oxygen level go down. Two masks. I'm an actual crazy person. See. And now, I'm going to go walk around like this in the park for six minutes while a assorted group of people with no masks on probably laughs at me. <laughs> Here you can see the map of the exact path I took around the park. It ended up being a total of exactly 0.4 miles that I walked with both masks on. I have asthma and right now with no mask on my oxygen level is 94. This one was a little bit harder to enhance but you can also see that if I highlight just the area that was a little green it does show the 94. So we're going to try several different masks, starting with a homemade cloth mask. Uh, and I'm going to walk around for about six minutes. I've actually dropped to 93 just talking, so my oxygen runs a little low anyway. Now since we don't have a montage, here's a video of the park that we walked around that day. Being Tennessee, it was a pretty warm day and it was wet out. 84 degrees with a 62% relative humidity. So I've walked around for six minutes in the park, up and down hills. Um, the temperature is 81, almost 82 degrees, and the humidity is at 67%, which would be hard for me to breathe anyway. And my oxygen right now is at 97. Sadly, because of technological limits, I cannot enhance this well enough to show the 97 that is on there. You're just going to have to trust that she really did go up from a 95 to a 97 after walking around the park. Sorry for that. However, you can see what my results were coming up right now. So I just walked the entire perimeter of this public park wearing two face masks like an idiot. Like more face masks than you would need to do. It took me almost seven minutes, which is like longer than a six minute walk test, which is what they try to say you're supposed to do to test your O2 levels. 
So let's see how much it actually affected me. I'm going to guess none. Well, it says that we had a, a drop of around, well, approximately nothing, really. It's showing somewhere between 97 and 95 now. Here you can see we had the same problem again because of the bright sunlight, but highlighting again will show that right there was a 97, the same score as before. So a six minute walk, like what's it showing right now? It says 97 again. That's exactly the same as it was when I started.